Sports Interactive have released a blog post detailing the future of football manager. We're going to have a look at this blog post, have a discussion around FM23, FM24 and FM25. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. OK, so if you are a member of Football Manager FC, you will have received an email yesterday sending you to a blog post on the footballmanager.com website. And this is that blog post. It's from Miles Jacobson, the head of Sports Interactive. And basically, it's split into three parts. It discusses Football Manager 2023. Uh, it also discusses Football Manager 2024. And then the future of Football Manager 25 and beyond. Now, this is a first for Sports Interactive. They've never been this open about future plans of the series. So I think it's a really good sign and a great step in the right direction. Right, before we go onto the future, we'll have a quick look at what they've said about FM23. So if we scroll down, this is the most played Football Manager game of all time. They've gone from, I believe, around 2 million players per year to now 5 million players per year. That is a massive increase. Obviously, part of that is to the new platform, so the Apple Arcade, the PlayStation 5, but obviously it's growing its core PC slash Mac user base as well so everything is on the up which is great for the game and great for the future of the game because the more players the more money for sports interactive the more money they can pump into the development of the game the better game we get in the end in theory obviously so what they have also said about fm23 apart from shouting about their successes they've also admitted that the feature set wasn't quite what they wanted to deliver and i'm sure if you are a long time player of the game You'll have felt that a little bit in the FM23 isn't a massive step up on FM22. Well, FM22 wasn't a massive step up on FM21 either. So it kind of feels like we've been playing the same game with a few tweaks around the edges for a long time now. And it's great that Sports Interactive admitted that. They've also said that they had to pull a couple of new features and drop them last minute, which probably I mean, it's quite obvious that the feature set for FM23 was a little bit on the light side. But it's great that they're admitting that and they're going to put things in place and have already put things in place to prevent that from happening in the future. So if you're a brand new player to the series, you will have found it to be an amazing game because it is an absolutely amazing game. But if you've been playing it for 20 plus years, like most of us have, it's got a bit samey over the last few years. So having this admission from Sports Interactive can only be a good sign for the future. So there's lots of reasons why that happened, but they, they go into it in the blog post. I'm not going to read them verbatim to you, but they're stopping that from happening in the future or putting things in place to prevent it in the future. So what we are going to do now is going to jump forward to FM24, which is what the blog post does. So I'm scrolling down as I am talking. Now, FM24 will be the 20th game under the Football Manager banner, and it will be the last of its kind, according to Sports Interactive. A love letter to football and the FM series as we know it. It's closing a chapter, but the book is still wide open. FM24 is the last one of the current cycle, I guess you can call it. So they've done a host of improvements over the years, and they've got a host of improvements they're planning, big and small, for FM24. Now I'm going to, again, I'm not going to read the blog verbatim to you. You can do that yourself. One of the big things they've announced, if you see it as a big thing, is the ability to transfer save games from one version of FM to the next. That's from FM23 onwards to FM24, and then they've said that that's going to continue going forward in the future. So what they've basically said is that FM24 is going to be the ultimate version of the current game. I kind of see it as what Championship Manager 0102 was for Championship Manager 3. It was the ultimate version. So CM3, uh, 2000, 2001, and 2001, 2002 were all basically the same game, but each one incrementally better than the last and CMO 102 is like the ultimate version of that and then Championship Manager 4 came along changed the game then Football Manager came along changed the game this is kind of what I see this as this is the final ultimate version of current Football Manager and what they're saying is from Football Manager 25 which we'll touch on in a second the whole game changes now what they're going to do is they're going to implement the features that were dropped late for FM23 they've got a list of things that they haven't covered yet I'm sure there'll be some releases soon uh, for FM24 that was planned in the feature set anyway. They've already confirmed the feature set. They're fully designed earlier than previous releases. They're also getting to basically completing the game earlier through the cycle so they can strip out any bugs, fix issues, catch anything new. So basically the version that drops in, I assume, November of Football Manager 2024 will be a better, more finished, polished product than previous launch day games have been. I imagine there'll still be a public beta, and I imagine there'll still be plenty of fixes along the way, but it's it's a good sign, essentially. And what I want to touch on now, FM24, before we go on to FM25, is they've announced stuff for FM25 that's pretty massive. We'll cover that in a second. So there's a big risk that people will see that and go, 
we don't want to bother buying Football Manager 2024. So you've got to hope, and I personally do believe, that Sports Interactive will have something big up their sleeves, bigger than just transferring your save games, that's for sure, and bigger than your UEFA license, hopefully as well, that will make you go, hang on, Football Manager 2024 is something I need to buy. So you've got to imagine they've got something up their sleeve to basically optimise everything they've got, every feature they've got in the game, drop some new ones in, tease us with a bit more, to basically make FM24 a must-buy, because... Once you see what's happening with FM25, you probably will initially go into the mindset of FM24 is skippable. So Sports Interactive, by doing that, have opened themselves up to a big risk. So you've got to believe they've got something big in store for FM24 across all platforms. Right, so FM25, that's what we're going to touch on now. And it's it's going to be like nothing before. It's a new chapter. It's the next chapter. It's It's been a while since we've had a big overhaul of Football Manager. There were some big changes, obviously. Back when the 3D engine came out in 2009, there's been gradual, obviously, increases again, a big revamp in 2017. But really, the last five or six games have kind of just been gradual improvements, optimising what's already there. Nothing big. Obviously, you've seen the match engine comparison of 10 years ago. It's not really changed that much. You've seen the new gen faces, the pretty awful, the eyebrows. But... That is all going to change. So they've been revamping everything behind the scenes. They're going to be a new technology in place. They're using a new game engine, Unity. And it's going to improve all of the match engine graphics, the user interface, everything like that. The 3D engine is going to be inc incredibly improved by the sounds of things. It's going to be a whole new game. Um, and they're also looking at things. This is all part of Project Dragonfly which they're touching on here. So it's basically saying FM25 is going to have a new engine behind it. Unity is going to be powering the Football Manager game across all platforms. I think mobile might be a year later, but for console, touch, and the main game, it's all going to be on Unity, which is obviously used in lots of other games. Um, I've seen some screenshots of football stadiums from City Skylines, which makes me really hopeful that Football Manager is going to be as good as that, if not better. I mean, you'd hope it'd be better for a direct football management game. But basically, this is going to give uh, the game a lot more power graphically, uh, powerful user interface tools. It's going to basically revamp the whole game. And hopefully, it's going to feel like a new game because that's one of the main issues people have with Football Manager is each year, it's basically just a data update uh, with a few new features thrown in. Now, this hopefully is going to be a huge change to the series. Obviously, it will change the minimum spec requirements as well. So that's a big... That's a, Thing that's stopped Football Manager from revamping things in the past is basically you can run Football Manager on a toaster. So FM25 is going to look significantly better uh, on a match day experience, both on the pitch, stadium environment, alongside the user interface as well, which will be dramatically improved and how you navigate through the screens and access all the information. It'll be tons better. There's also going to be new technology for new gens and the manager creation, so no longer the big eyebrows, they're all going. We're getting a new switch. So Unity is coming in for FM25 which basically means a great thing. Uh, it's also going to have new animation tech, but some of that is going to shift into FM24 as well. So FM24 is not going to get neglected. It's all going to come in in FM25, but some is going to drip feed through FM24. And also a big, big announcement. Women's football is definitely coming for FM25. It was announced back in July 2021 that it was coming. Now we've got concrete confirmation. Football Manager 25 is when women's football is going to come in. And basically, I think it's going to be treated just like any other league. So you can turn them off and on, like you would, say, the Latvian League. So I think that is an absolutely massive thing for the Football Manager 2025 game to have as well. So it's a brand new game, brand new leagues being added, side of the game that wins football. It can only be a positive. So to sum everything up, FM24 is the 20th anniversary of Football Manager. It will be the most complete version of this game in the series in history. Uh, and then FM25, for the first time in decades, a proper sequel, new engine, new Unity engine, new graphics, user interface, advanced animations, introduction of women's football, plus lots more. Basically, FM25 is going to be absolutely massive. FM24, I imagine over the coming weeks and months, will have more features announced and they'll make it so it's a, it's a must-buy, not a, not a skip-over version of the game. I personally feel that things that they may have been holding back on they will release on FM24. They'll get all the big features out on FM24 because at the moment, FM25 is already must buy. So I don't see the, the purpose of holding features back if they are ready to go and can go in the new in the current engine. 
they don't have to be held back for the new engine so things like hopefully i mean we'll have a wish list uh, video coming in the future so please let us know your thoughts in the comments what you want to see for fm24 so hopefully things like a set piece creator much more quality of life improvements they'll all come for fm24 they won't hold them back for fm25 because if they do and the feature set for fm24 is a little bit weak i can see a lot of people not bothering and waiting for the 25 version of the game but that's the big big announcement they've done so fm24 is ultimate version of f football manager fm25 is brand new so get your thoughts down in the comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and watch out for a wish list video coming here on the sorted out si net youtube channel for football manager 2024 if you want to be involved in that drop your thoughts in the comments we'll put a post out on the community page we'll also have on discord twitter everywhere on the website as well so please get your thoughts in we'll do a vicious video very very soon if you can't wait for football manager 2024 you can basically take your fm23 game and boost it up to the new season by watching this video and you can also check out all of our league guides here on the channel by checking out this playlist and i'll see you on the next video